I'm back, baby. Today, I'm going to finally get around to painting the smiling GM minis that I reviewed a couple of videos ago. Now, as you've probably realised, that was like six months ago at this stage, but this is the third time I've attempted to make this video. I have had it filmed and edited twice, and for whatever reason, they have both wound up corrupted previous to this. I have actually had two other videos do the same thing on me in the same period of time. Hopefully this one works. Um, we're just going to get right into it. There's nothing spectacular in this video, but people have asked for it, so here you go. Uh, painting the Smiling GM Minis. First things first, these minis had a layer of mold release on them and that needed to go. Warm soapy water is the best way to go about this, but keep an eye on the temperature, as too hot can warp or even partially melt some plastics. I left these guys to dry off overnight, and off camera the next day I gave them a couple of thin coats of a matte Rust-Oleum primer. From here, it's up to you. As I said in the original review video, I'm most likely to use these as token creatures, and I actually have a few times, so these guys are going to get pretty generic colour schemes. Now, detail on them isn't enough for hero minis, but it was never really meant to be, so paint them up as you wish and use them as best you can. There wasn't as much pigment in this bronze as I'd originally thought, but I got a pretty decent result from using a few thin coats. As you might have noticed, my painting skills aren't up to much, but no one at the table looks too closely at imps, so keep your A-game for beholders and dragons and things like that. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you wouldn't mind doing me a favour, I have two or three different projects in the pipeline at the moment, in various stages of editing. Uh, one is a some 3D printed scatter terrain, and another is a colossal white dragon uh, being made from a toy into a tabletop ready mini. If you have a preference between those two, let me know, and that's where I'll focus my energy for the next video. Thanks again for watching, uh, sorry again about the delay, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one.